you see back in the days but if we were to talk about bayan you know i'll be you know i'd be hiding and you know i'm not really confident of exactly what i'm going to say but let me say this i mean factually speaking uh this team has just given me confidence honestly arsenal has given me confidence the way we are playing and just like you said in the previous video all we need right now but all those kids need is just the mental the mental strength because i'm telling you but the mental strength is a factor in any sport Reckless talk. Son of a justice. Hey, reckless talk. But I got expensive habits. Don't step in soul. Ah, fellow Gunners, it's a new day. Uh, welcome back. This is Kenya Gunners TV, and my name is Kwame. Uh, it's an exciting time for Ghanas all over the world. It's been 14 years since we last participated, not just in the Champions League, but the last eight of the Champions League. Um, some might say we are the dark horses because um, we have the best defense so far in the league. We've been scoring for fun, champagne football. Um, we've won so many battles against Man City, against Porto. Um, we've beat uh, teams convincingly. We started January on a high, and now we are on the business end of things. Don, right? What do you make of what do you make of the UEFA Champions League draw? What do you think are Arsenal's chances, and which teams do you think are going to end up in the final? Discuss the draw and your thoughts. All right. Welcome. So let me say, you see, back in the days, but if we were to talk about Bayern, you know, I'd be, you know, I'd be hiding, and you know, I'm not really confident of exactly what I'm going to say. But let me say this: I mean, factually speaking, uh, this team has just given me confidence. Honestly, Arsenal has given me confidence. The way we are playing, and just like you said in the previous video, all we need right now, but all those kids need is just the mental, the mental strength. Because I'm telling you, but the mental strength is a factor in any sport be it rugby, boxing, mental strength is a big factor. Because when it comes to technical ability, when it comes to skill, we have all that. Look at our defense. We have the, the best defense right now. I can confidently say in the world, and you guys can tell me, you guys, anybody by there cannot tell me anything about our defense. We have the best defense in the world right now. So we're meeting Bayern. Of course, we have history, by the way. I mean, we, we, we uh, you know, history always, before we actually say anything, we always have to go back to history and understand, you know, how, how things went in the future. I mm -hmm. think one of the most embarrassing times, when, you know, when Bayern still had Robin, you know, all these, man, those guys embarrassed us, both home and away. You know, back in the yes. days that teams like Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern, even, even looking at the draw right now, there are teams like yeah. Bayern, Real Madrid, Barcelona, when you are put in the same draw with those guys, you'll just be it's game over. It's, it's game, game over. over because Barcelona had all the best players, Bayern had all the best players, Real Madrid, some of the best players. But looking at Real Madrid right now, even if you look at Bundesliga, they're behind, they're behind uh, where Xhaka went by Leverkusen, despite the, despite the fact of them having Harry Kane and whatnot. And even I saw, and I think even I told you this off camera when these guys are playing Man U. In their group stages, I was really impressed by their Bayern play. They struggled, and the way Manu right now, if you look at the form, they are so poor right now. I expected by their Bayern to go past these guys. You know, the Bayern we know, you know, the perception that the perception of the Bayern. You expected it was going to be a whitewash. Yeah, I expected them to beat Manu seven six. Only to the fact that you know Manu is so poor right now, I expected them to go past slap these guys. The Arsenal has been slapping, you know, people. But even the group stages, they didn't really look that sharp. So now, coming back to now, the most important thing. At some point, by the way, lucky. I feel like luck is on our side. And Arsenal this season, by the way, we've been breaking curses. We've been breaking curses. All the curses we broke the curse by the way, being in the in the in the in the quarterfinals. How many Don't years? You sound like we, Don, you sound you sound like you have seen the promised land. Are you are you seeing something that we have not seen? But I'm seeing it, Mazi. I'm seeing Can you it, man. see the promised land? Can you see the promised yeah. land? You yeah, telling me I'm seeing this thing. When was the last time we beat City, man? 
20, where well, was it 2013? That was the last time we actually beat Man City. When was it? Was it 20, 2013 or 2015? When was the I last time we beat Everton? A long yeah. time. When was the last time we actually we've beat broke, Everton? We've broken so many curses, by the way. Yeah. We've yeah. broken so yeah. many curses. So this is a season of breaking curses. So, yes, I'm meeting Bayern. We have to respect them. Quite an organized team. Quite a well structured by their team. You can't write them off. But they still have I'm going to be. They still have leakages, and I'm sure by them, Mikel with his technical coaching staff, they should be able to unlock these days. Uh, I think I'll, I'll leave you discuss this because you actually mentioned uh, you talked about the fact that you know their fans have been banned, so that's going to be a factor. So, Eddie, you yes. can drop your thoughts, you can also drop your thoughts on that. Yeah, so maybe I'll just touch quickly on Atletico Madrid, uh, the, the Atletico Madrid and Dortmund, and uh. PSG and Barcelona. Just touch quickly, then go to Arsenal, the main, because that's this is an Arsenal channel, so we'll focus more on the group for Arsenal. So I think Atletico Madrid has the easiest draw, because Dortmund, they won, but they won by luck. There was a mistake by uh, the team they were playing against. Uh, somebody fell down, and they scored 2-0, but they were struggling. Uh, PSV played the better football, right? Uh, but they lost. But they lost. So that right. goes to show no mis you're not supposed to make mistakes, but I, I guess it's the naivety. PSV is a very young team. We beat them yeah. uh, as we are, we were coming up the whatever. So I fancy Atletico Madrid winning that uh, that that game. The other game is uh, PSG Barcelona. Barcelona has struggled in in, in La Liga. Um, PSG has been obviously dominating the. What people call the farmers league but i mean saliba came from that league so you can't mm. quite say but um, mbappe always has a way of changing games but i sort of like i'm 50 50 on that because um barcelona sort of like picked up form uh, of late uh they they came out of their group strongly uh, beating Na uh, napoli with awesome and inside convincingly so i i think um if PSG slips on Barcelona, they could be shocked. So my hunch is Barcelona uh, Barcelona wins this group. And then now, of course, they'll play the semifinals with like Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. I fancy beating Barcelona more than Atletico Madrid because they have been playing so much. Uh, Atletico Madrid has not been performing. In fact, if they don't win the Champions League, there is a strong likelihood they might not even qualify for the Champions League. Though they are playing mm. some good football, but their defense has not been the way we know Atletico Madrid plays. So, so yeah, so that's on that group. Now, on the main group for Arsenal, I think I want to thank my lucky stars. I want to thank the good Lord. I want to thank uh, the gods. I want to thank the universe. I want to thank the Arsenal fans for praying for the first time. We are so lucky. Everything that has happened to us, apart from our hard work, is luck. What? Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, Bayern Munich in the last uh, Champions League game, they their people uh, put on fireworks. The things uh, you know were dangerous. They almost hurt the, the the fans, and so they have banned fans from coming to the em the Emirates Stadium. Now we know right. Emirates is now a fortress. Uh, first of all, Bayern Munich is, is not at the level we know it normally is. Yes. Most of the star players who thrashed us 14 years ago were Ribery, Arjen Robben, uh, you know, other players who are, you know, like they were much, much higher in levels and we didn't have the same defense. Mm. So they still have Hurricane, but in a stadium of 60,000 Arsenal fans shouting, them without their fans, so long as we don't take them for granted, if we score lots of goals in the first leg, I think we could go on and either draw or win uh, at Bayern, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so, 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 yeah. So, I think we have we have a very good chance of beating Bayern Munich. I think uh, the tests we've had with Man City in the Premier League, the tests we've had with Porto, Peto, I think for the first time in the whole season, even after playing champagne football, Porto was yeah. the team that. Made us have zero, almost zero shot on target, back in port in Porto. Yeah. I think that was the best, best, best thing that could have happened to us at this stage. 
Yeah. Right. So yeah. So I think uh, we've had many, many serious games that have helped transform us to this fighting machine. Yeah. So I think unless we mess up, either get a red card or have Saliba get injured. Now those are the things that are beyond our control. But so long as we maintain our first team, so long as Pate, uh, Jesus. And, and Martinelli can find their way to play those Champions League games so that mm. we have people switching up. Because the issue is that we have a strong eleven. But I believe yep. if, if those players that have come back have a chance of playing, I think we just might shock because they don't have any footage of them playing um, this season. So if we find right. a, if Ateta finds a way of integrating Pate, Timbal, Martinelli. Mm. Uh, and 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 uh, Jesus, who's just come back, has no much fitness, and even Zinchenko, because Zinchenko has a way of breaking defenses. So if he uses these players well, uh, yeah. then I think because the issue is we don't want fatigue for the Premier League. So right. so if he manages the players well, then uh, there's a good chance that we can balance both the Premier League and uh, the Champions, Champions League. League. Yeah, but they call the, the, the happiest, start. the happiest, the happiest person for this draw, yeah. is Liverpool because they know we have. There's a strong chance that Arsenal will win their group, right? But I don't want to preempt anything because so that our, our our team can be remain in concentrating. Liverpool is the happiest because they 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 have been scoring goals for. Fun because you see they are a, they are a Champions League team, but they were relegated to Europa League and they are scoring like in the last in the in the last game they played, they had an aggregate score of eleven two. They are scoring for fun in Europa League. Yeah. So for them, I think they are very happy when we are preoccupied because Real Madrid, Man City, all those two games, both home and away games, are very hard. Very, our very game easy. against our game against Bayern, despite Bayern being what it is now, they are tough games. So. There's a likelihood we, we might drop points and allow Liverpool to just run away with the title. So that's 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 the thing that 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 I think uh, Liverpool are licking their lips for. Yeah, because yeah. they are not in the Champions League, and mm. Klopp wants to come out with something. So it's either Europa League or Premier League. So mm. that's that's the factor. Then uh, of course on the Man City, Man City and Real Madrid. I feel like the big the team that has Real Madrid's number at the moment is Man City. Yep. And so uh, we have we seem to have Man, Man City's number because we've beaten them twice. So I'd rather right. face Man City because they are the devil we know. Yeah. Yeah, just because I respect uh, the, the, in fact the number one team that has won the most Champions League t- trophies is Real Madrid 14 times. Right. The, the second one is seven. That shows you the dominance of Real yeah. Madrid. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, there you have it. Um, interesting couple of games coming up. Um, uh, the games will be coming thick and fast, though the inter- international break allows us to rest. But we don't want to lose momentum. And so, yeah, uh, I think this is the best chance for Arsenal to win the Champions League and even the Premier League. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I mean, all I can say is I, all the best for Teta. Any final words uh, as we close, uh, uh, Don? Uh, what do you think, man? If any player by the way comes across this, well, this is still a small channel, but they're growing thick and fast. Yeah, we're actually almost clocking a thousand subs. If any Arsenal player by the way comes across this, come on, you guys, just have faith in yourself, Mazi. Trust yourself, man. <laughs> Believe in yourself. You guys are playing some. You play. You guys are playing good football. Champagne All you do is just football. have faith in yourself. Yeah. Believe, believe. Just believe. Just believe. believe. Just believe. Have faith in yourself. You know, as a man attends, man. All you need to do is just have faith in yourself. The other day, come. I think you saw on news. We saw. We saw on the news bulletin, Kenya news. This guy yes. who actually protected his family from a lion. He killed a lion with his bare hands. My a full-grown lion. A full-grown male lion. Why? Belief. If you're gonna yes. suck a believe in yourself, Martinelli, have faith in yourself, trust yourself. I yeah, think that's it, yeah. man. It's just believing, believing. Yeah, and for and for the for the guys watching this channel, 
We want to appreciate you. Um, we don't take this for granted. We are now at 900 subs. Uh, over 900 subs. We want to reach a thousand. Uh, when you when you like our our when you like our videos, uh, the algorithm uh, recommends it to other people, and so smash that uh, uh, subscription button. Uh, let us know. Do you think this is the time we make history and win the UEFA Champions League? Do you think this is the time we win the Premier League? Do you believe? My friend Don here said he's seen the promised land. Do you see the promised land? I see the promised land. Come on, Gunners. Let's do this. Come on, you Gunners. See you on the next one, guys. See you on the next one.